Hi, my name is Aul Dominate from Team Liquid, and this is my basic jungler guide to Kindred. In solo queue on Kindred, uh, your clear is actually pretty strong because you have really good sustain and you um, don't take much damage due to the fact that you can kite camp so easily. So the clear is about a 9 for me. The ganks are a little bit worse because all you really have is a slow and it's kind of hard to kill people if they're not like in really uh, compromised positions. But they're still possible to be pulled off so I'd say it's about a 7 for ganking. And overall in solo queue as a jungler right now, I think it's a 10. I think it's the strongest you get for a jungler. Um, which to me is really exciting because I've always been um, wanting carry junglers to come into the meta and I think Kindred is the first one um, that actually feels like a true carry jungler. For ganking on Kindred, it's pretty obvious how you want to start the gank. Uh, your E is your slow, so landing that first is imperative. Um, generally the way that I do it when I play Kindred is I Q first um, to get into range then E them and then I draw my W because your W will reduce your Q cooldown to um, 2 seconds no matter where you cast it from or what cooldown your Q is on. So uh, the best way to gank is just to E first um, or Q into E or E first um, then Q after or just drop your W. Uh, and then just keep on trying to follow them down the lane with your autos and your uh, multiple, two second, multiple two second keys. A big part about Kindred is counter jungling intelligently. You win a lot of 1v1s with pretty much every jungler um, based on like your ability to outplay. If you drop your W and you're able to dodge one of their skill shots with Q, you'll almost guaranteed win the fight. Um, so that's very important when you are invading. Um, and the other part of, of invading is you should only really invade for stacks, but you should be very careful about uh, which stacks you choose to go for. Um, because if you do get greedy for a stack, it'll be very easy for the enemy to collapse on you and just get a free kill. Um, so, I'd say that most of the time you don't want to play around your stacks too much. Obviously, if they're like scuttle crabs in the river, you want to always contest them because they're pretty neutral positions and you're not going to end up dying. Uh, worst case scenario, you see the enemies collapsing on you and you just jump over the dragon or barren pit and you get the safety. Um, but for the most part, uh, you have to just be aware of what camps are, stat are, are marked and just look for opportunities where if the jungler shows on the opposite side of the map, like invading to get a wolf camp is definitely worth it. Team fighting with Kindred is probably the hardest part of her. Um, you have to set your W up in a good zone where you don't necessarily have to be attacking to make sure that your wolf is attacking because it does a lot of damage once you have a lot of stacks on um, Kindred or once you even have a few stacks on Kindred. Um, so the way you want to team fight is kind of just hit the closest target for the beginning of the fight and then not be afraid to um, ult if your teammates get low or if it looks like you're about to lose the fight because it can be a good equalizer um, in HP in the terms of the fight. Um, and the other option that you have on Kindred is just knowing when you can um, play like a more bait-oriented style where you can play aggressively into them and then just save yourself with your ultimate and hold the position. Um, so I'd say that most of the time you want to just be playing kind of like an AD carry but just be ready for opportunities to get pickoffs because you don't have to be as concerned about dying because you do have your ultimate um, to just kind of even the playing field. The best champion synergies that I've found with Kindred are people that can knock the enemies out of your ult. Um, so if you do get low and you're 1v1 with an enemy, like a thing like a Tristana, a Lee Sin, they could just move the enemy out of your ult away from um, the invulnerability within your ult will just uh, give you a lot of free kills. There are a few tips that will make you a better Kindred player. In the early game, your W, or your w allows you to reset your Q to a 2 second cooldown, um, which is really useful because you can use it to kite camps, and my favorite way to kite camps is using the small walls in the jungle to force camps to come to one side of you, then Q over the wall, make the camp run around to the other side, and by that time your Q will be back up and you kite back to the other side of the wall, and you keep jumping the wall over and over and over until the camp's dead, and this will um, allow you to take way less damage. Um, generally speaking, when I clear like this, I only end up using maybe one pot in my entire first clear and I'll be full life. Sometimes I, I, if I kite really well, I don't um, even need to use any pots in my first clear, which is a really good advantage for a jungler because it just means that I have to invest less money into pots um, afterwards and more money into wards. One more tip that can be useful is sometimes in team fights, you want to leave your W on one side of the wall where the enemies are, but you can still hop the wall and make sure you're inside your W range. 
generally speaking, the way you want to mark someone is use a, do it about six seconds before um, you gank them. So normally when you're in the river and you're setting up for the gank, you can mark them. Another good tip is that once you have five or more stacks on your passive, uh, you're able to do Baron extremely fast. So that allows you to do it with like a tank champion or um, do, it, do it with something like Yasuo that can win wall the Baron. The fact that you um, do objectives so quickly is just something to take note of once you have stacks of your Kindred passive just because of the current damage. For runes on Kindred, I run a standard AD carry page where I go um, 8.5 physical damage from reds, 9 armor from yellows, uh, 12 magic resist from blues, and 14% attack speed from flints. For our masteries on Kindred, I end up going an attack um, speed, attack damage um, favored page where I take uh, attack speed from Fury, 1 point in Butcher, 1 point in Double Edged Sword, 3 points in Brute Force, 1 point in Feast, 3 points in Executioner, 1 point in Dangerous Game, Martial Mastery because it's a token mastery for 1 point, um, Spell Weaving, Blade Weaving, um, Devastating Strikes, and Havoc. And then the 9 defense, um, you have two options. You can either go 2 points in Tough Skin or 2 points in Recovery, depending on um, how good you are kiting the jungle. Um, and then you go uh, Block, Veteran Scars, Unyielding, and Juggernaut. For your skill order on Kindred, W is the best skill for you to start with. At level 2 you should get Q, level 3 you should get E, and then you should max out Q from there, um, and then W after that. For item build on Kindred, um, you have two options. Uh, I think Warrior, Warrior with Skirmishers is by far the best option. Um, for a jungler just because it gives you the ability to 1v1 champions like Elise and Lee Sin that would normally just insta-kill you. Um, and from there on Kindred, uh, you have, in my mind, two good options, which is Triforce for, for squishy targets, um, because you just are able to output so much damage and it helps with the fact that she has the lowest base move speed in the game. Um, or Blade of the Rune King if you're like versus a more normalized team comp with a tank top or like a tanky jungle. Um, and uh, if you go the Blade of the Rune King route, I think Black Cleaver is a good option um, because it gives you a little bit uh, of tankiness and it also just gives you some like CDR and some decent damage. And if you go the Triforce route, I think you go uh, Blade after that and then build a Last Whisperer um, in both builds after you've um, established your core. For your last item on Kindred, you have a lot of options. Um, some people go Rudance, but I don't really like that personally. Um, I like either going a BT there, or if I haven't got um, enough health for some reason, sometimes I go a Frozen Mallet. So uh, those are the options I think that are best for Kindred. And uh, even though both of them are kind of non-generic jung uh, jungle builds or AD carry builds, I think that they work the best for her skill set. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides over at lawclass.com. When the enemy goes for a last hit, it's important to abuse them. A good example is against range opponents. You start with Q and then you go E's.